Wanna shout out to all the fans here. Remember guys, you can uh, hit me up on uh, YouTube here. And uh, if you wanna donate to my cash app here, you can go and uh, click on the green button here. Uh, shout out to all the fans here. You might wanna check out my website here. And uh, if you wanna pick up the uh, latest Rasta guitars and bass, I have them on my site for purchase here. Check that out. Bottom of the old school gold. And of course, you wanna learn how to mix pro dancehall in the box, a uh, pro reggae in the box, pro afro, beat and soca. Uh, check out my link, guys. This is uh, Pristine Productions here. And uh, today we're talking about uh, mixing pro afro rhythm here. And uh, we're going to break down how do we get certain things to stand out here. We're going to talk about promoting your rhythm as well to get artists on it. So uh, let's get right down into it. Live wire. And shout out to the fans here. This is one of my uh, latest tracks I'm, I'm working on here on the project here. And uh, welcome to the show, guys. Uh, we're talking about mixing uh, pro Afro rhythm here. I am your host, Andrew Rayburn here. So uh, we're going to talk about uh, mixing a pro Afro rhythm here and uh, what you need to do to uh, get your rhythm as a producer to stand out professionally and so you can market that to other artists uh, outside or in the Caribbean or wherever you want to uh, uh, send your rhythm here. So uh, let's get down to it. I'm going to show some tips and tricks here. Uh, what I did uh, with uh, the uh, Afro beat here and how I get things to get in motion here. So uh, let me play the first uh, instrument here. This is what I got here. So I'm starting off with a simple synthesizer here. Followed by a, a little bit of square lead here. Now you want to do that to uh, create some groove. And uh, finally we have the jump section here. And uh, by the way, guys, I, I, I want to thank you all for wishing me a happy birthday. Uh, thank you so much for love and support. Uh, really love one. And uh, we always bring in the best of the best when it comes to these shows here. Now, these types of rhythms here is, is guaranteed. When you want to send it to a national artist, these are the kind of vibes artists are looking for. So uh, let's see what I did with that first sound here. I'm going to go to the... Uh... So I'm going to pull up a little bit of chain here. I'm using a little bit of NLS here. And a little bit of channel strip here. Turn it off. Let me turn off both of the inserts here. Kind of gets quiet. I'll turn off the reverb. That's what I start off with. Now, the sound is dry and we want to create some atmosphere to it. So, that's what I'm doing with the NLS here. Um, give it a little bit of drive. Actually, I'm cranking a drive up here. If I bypass that. It's getting a little bit quiet, but saturation is actually 
uh, taking the instrument, giving it more warmth, a bit more presence here. And the channel strip here, I'm at a little bit of uh, low end here. Because I want it to be kind of in my face. And uh, these are the, the iconic sounds you want to keep uh, to bring in the artist and connect with the artist here. So that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to turn on back the reverb here. Let me uh, put that on there. I'm going to bring that back here. Here we go. Now I'm doing the same thing with the square lead here. Throughout the rhythm, you're going to be hearing these kind of sounds moving around the rhythm here. So I'm going to show a little bit of trick here. I'm using the uh, model from uh, Waves to give it some movement here. So it's kind of moving left and right. So turn off the reverb here. Turn the reverb back on. Give it a little bit of EQ. You might don't be afraid to uh, boost the EQs. Give it a bit of clarity. And here I have the the uh, drums here. So it's a trap drums. Now I'm adding a little bit of uh, bottom end here as I get a little bit more oomph. To that, uh, you want to make sure your dance hall drums or circle drums, you want to make sure you got a, some nice pounding low end here. That's what's, that's, uh, what's going to raise people's eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? As a producer, uh, um, artists, from my experience, artists listen to uh, the quality of the, of the, of the beat. Uh, in this modern time, uh, they want to hear um, that kind of, that fat, kind of production um, um, just and it's well balanced there's not too much highs and it has a good melody this is a simple mel melody here so that's what artists are looking for here so you got to make sure you you have good taste in choosing your sounds now bring in the hi-hats here and check this out I'm actually uh, playing the drums through a reverb here so add a little bit of live room space uh, to uh, create, a, if I take off the reverb here, check this out. It, it kind, of, it sounds nice, but it's kind of a little bit, of, a little bit of boring here. I'll turn on the reverb. And uh, I'm gonna go down to a little bit of percussion here. Play that. Giving this an intro here, so it's kind of pick it, picking up here. That's what I'm doing here. Giving a little bit of soca bounce there. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna bring in the the toms here. Check us out. And uh, as you can see, I'm adding the thumbs here, and it's, it's it's giving the rhythm a little bit more weight, a little bit more punch, um, especially for female uh, dancehall artists. They like these kind of bounce and moves, something they want to like dance and you know like right right one of these um, dancehall sound sounds too. Uh, let's go down to the next sound. Let's see what we got here. Uh, moving on down here, I'm going to play track back here. That's a, that's like a little Chinese uh, sound that I found in one of the uh, systems here. I thought it was pretty cool, so I put that in. Uh, this is the main pulses. You want, you want the big 
bad bass. So uh, this is where the 808 comes in. I'm gonna show a little bit of chain movement here. So listen to how this 808 comes in here. Here we go. Here we go. Listen to that. Do 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 boom. Now let's go on the. Uh, let's see what I'm, let's see what Spider Ray is doing, doing with the bass here. You want that big bass, man? Uh, this is how you're gonna un impress artists. This is how you're gonna get clients. You gotta stand out, have a simple, nice melody, nice color that will work both on male and a uh, female uh, dancehall artist if that's what you're uh, targeting. So. Let me check out the jumps for a minute here. I'm gonna isolate the 808 by itself. Shout out to all the artists in the Virgin Islands, Trinidad. I'll be on the lookout for the Green Jade project as well, uh, which we're gonna be featuring some artists uh, from outside in the Virgin Islands and uh, it's going to be nice, guys. A fully loaded uh, gospel artist uh, collaboration, including myself. And uh, we want to, you know, connect the leads with the rest of the world. So here is the NLS here. I'm going to take off all the inserts. So let's hear the 808 by itself. Now it sounds a little bit thin here. This is where the NLS comes in to add some harmonic saturation here. And uh, it doesn't stop there. So what I'm doing now next with the channel strip here. It's cutting off a little bit of lower end here. It's controlling a bit. So let's put that in here. Notice it kind of punches the 808 back down. That's because I'm compressing about uh, 2 dB. We want to, uh, a pro tip, you want to control the bass. You don't want it to get too loud and all, you know, all over your face or all over the track. You want a, you want a nice um, aggressive bass, but it's not getting in the way of the singer, especially female singers because, you know, uh, they want to hear the harmonies. They want to hear everything cutting through. So now here's a little bit of sauce here. I'm adding a little bit of decapitate here to give it a little more grit here. So let's bring in the drums here. Check this out when I add in the decapitate here. Here we go. I'm getting that big boom in the off. Uh, and this is giving the uh, entire rhythm section here, giving it a lift here. Now let's bring in the uh, ad additional keyboards here. I have one more plug on the 808 here. Here we go. That's the sound right there. Music it has a little bit of delay here. It's, it's, it's jumping back every time it hits. Thump, thump, thump. Creating a little bit of movement around. So you're getting like that bounce kind of vibe. So you you can see where I'm going with it. Have a, a couple more uh, sound here. Now I'm going to uh, unmute what we call laying down the foundation here. And uh, so when the rhythm picks up in its chorus line here. We have some movements. I'm going to play that here. Additional padded sound here. Here we go. Now, this is the reason why I, I, I'm using the CLA 3A. I wanted a little bit more power on the 808. I'm going to kick that back in here so we have a nice sound. Let's play it back here. Off. 
So when when an artist is, is listening to the track here, it, it comes in with the intro, then it's going to the middle line here. So you, you want to use about uh, probably about two bars uh, in the intro here. So when they hear this part, I take I, I'm taking out um, some of the sounds, uh, the Chinese sound. So he or she, whoever you're pitching the rhythm to, is writing to it and feel okay. This is the verse section here, so they're gonna start right on this part here. Um, I have one more sound here I'm using. This is when the chorus hits. So you want to make sure um, that you have a lead sound for the chorus of the rhythm, whether it's so-called dance or reggae. Uh, when a singer hits the chorus, you might hear maybe a horn section comes in, maybe an acoustic guitar. You don't want everything all in one shot the entire song because it's going to sound like something else is missing up. You know, it's getting boring. You want to, this is how you create movement in the track here. So check this out. I'm going to play at the beginning here. You're going to hear uh, a lead string here. Here we go. It's going to kick back in after the verse sections here. Listen for it. Now it's these uh, two sounds right here, the Chinese sounds, which I like to call. The, I, really, I really don't know the name of the instrument here. Um, I think it's a Chinese um, mandolin or something. But here is uh, the sound. Those two sounds right, right here. Every time the rhythm comes to the chorus part, these two sounds is gonna kick back in after a, like a little bit of a two bars here, and then it comes out, which separates uh, the chorus, which that that is chorus right, right there, uh, with the verse here. So listen to how they react to each other as I uh, bring them in and out here. So I'm gonna play it from the top again. Here we go. Kick back in here. Let's do it. <laughs> now, from uh, from time uh, from time to time, guys. Uh, sometimes people may ask. Uh, well, Ray. Um. How do you know? How do you know um, where the chorus should be, where the verse should be in the rhythm? Uh, what I generally try to do, um, if you're gonna, you have an idea for a rhythm and you want to send to an artist, uh, create the foundation first. Like um, once I know that the the artist is interested in these kind of vibes here, uh, then I would uh, send him just a demo of it. And uh, if they're serious with the production, then I kind of add these official sounds uh, to the vocal. When the artist lay down the vocal, then that gives me like the blueprint or the guide to, okay, if the artist is here, she's singing this kind of way at uh, this certain section of the song, then I'm going to come in with some additional sounds to even uplift that vibe, you know? So that's what I did here. And what you can do is even take certain parts of it and maybe check out the kick drum come back and this is how you're adding movement to the entire mix here. Yeah. 
And here you hear that, that, that string comes back in. Dun, 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 dun. Um, uh, let's see what I actually did uh, with with those strings here. So I'm going to play play the string here. Let's, let's see what I got here. That's what I'm playing. Just a little bit of... A little bit of EQ here. And it comes with its own uh, sound here. So I, I, I bounce that down to a, a delay echo in its own self. And uh, a pro tip, guys, when you're building sounds in dancehall, whatever genre you're doing, um, see how it sounds with a reverb, turn the reverb off in the mix and see how it feels. Because if you're if putting reverb through every, every, everything, sometimes it's going to wash out the entire mix. And like I says, when these artists are listening to certain beats and they want a certain vibe and you're presenting your stuff to them, um, you want to make sure it's presentable. It's simple. So they don't have to be guessing where do I write the verse. Um, think about these things uh, ahead of time, guys. Uh, this is how you can stand out as, as, as a producer. Yeah, so uh, let's get back to it here. And a, and a great example here because I'm using this uh, this uh, sound here. Take take it off. When I add it in the, like the room here, check this out. It kind of gives it a little bit of dimension here. So it's in a room, not like a reverb, but it's just in a room. It's like environment here, so you can hear the space in your headphones. And uh, simple uh, adjustment like these help the the mix to stand out. As for the vocals here, I have a, a number of uh, effects running through the uh, female vocals. Here, a little bit of distortion here. I want a little bit of you know radio kind of noise here. By the way, uh, guys, uh, all you artists out there, uh, especially uh, the Belizean artists, upcoming artists, if you're uh, uh, someone that want to get into uh, music, a uh, production, record your own self, uh, like what I'm doing. Um, CY is music, guys, located. Uh, um, by the canal side at the pound at the pound yard um see wise music is selling these interface here uh presonus um audio box they have the vocal mics uh be sure to check them out if you want to do podcasts check out see wise they get their stuff directly from the united states a like top of the line i bought uh the mic actually um that i'm using on my tracks uh, on the recent album that i did um I bought the mic from a CYS. Uh, shout out to uh, Mr. Young, and uh, and the CYS uh, um, store. So check them out if you want to do podcasts. If you want to get a sound system for a little a live stream concert or a, a church service, CYS Music, right by the Kennel side at the Pound Yard, here in Belize City. You know, so uh, be sure to check them out. You know. So uh, for the vocals here, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just doing a little bit of decapitator here and I'm sending through the reverb and the H delay here. I'm gonna play that by itself here. That's what I'm doing there. I'm play this, play this part back. In the mix, it sounds nice. You're getting that big space here. I'm doing the ping pong, ping pong move here. So I'm gonna stop there, guys. Uh, remember to hit me up on my YouTube channel here. 
And if you want to learn how to mix and master, check out my site here. If you want to buy the Rasta kit, the Rasta guitars and bass, be sure to check that out here. And this has been mixing a pro afro beat here, so get you guys on the next one. <laughs>